Hey everybody, Darren Voros here. Today I'm gonna jumpstart your real estate investing journey by sharing my five-step guide on how to get started as a real estate investor. In my experience, the sooner you get involved in real estate investing and the longer you stay invested, the higher your rates of return will be. Now, is this a hard and fast rule? Obviously not, and not all real estate investing should be treated equally. But if you've been sitting on the sidelines watching real estate investors reap incredible returns over the years and wanna know how to get in and get started, well, then you've come to the right place. Make sure that you stay until the end of this video because I'll be sharing a tip that all real estate investors should take advantage of if they wanna seriously level up their knowledge. If you're new to me and my channel, I cover three main subjects, real estate investing strategies, tips, and techniques, renovation and construction, and financial literacy. If you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. And without further ado, let's get into it. One of my favorite statistics in real estate is that 90% of the world's wealthiest people have made their millions in real estate. So in other words, if you took all of the world's wealthiest people, 90% of them have created their wealth through real estate investing. Let's take a look at a couple of examples of how that works. Everyone knows McDonald's. Well, how does McDonald's make most of their money? Through real estate. How do they do that? Well, they buy up some of the best land in the world and then they put their franchise on it. Then they sell the franchise to a franchise owner and the franchise owner runs the day-to-day -day business selling hamburgers and french fries. They have to buy all that product from McDonald's. They have to pay franchising fees back to McDonald's, but here's the biggest part of McDonald's revenue. They have to pay rent to McDonald's on the land that McDonald's owns. McDonald's is the world's largest landlord and their real estate portfolio is worth over $30 billion alone. Now, most of us are not looking to own $30 billion of real estate, so let's look at a more realistic example. In Toronto, from the year 2000 to today, single family homes have increased in value over 300%. That means that if you bought a home in Toronto in the year 2000 for $500,000 and you did nothing to it, it would be worth $1.5 million today. And if you mortgaged your home and your down payment was 25%, that means you would have only had $125,000 invested in that home, which means that your return now jumps to 800% over that 20 year period. If you divide that out over the 20 years of that investment, your average rate of return sits at 40% annually. Not to mention that if you did mortgage over a 25 year period, you'd be five years away from owning that home free and clear. Some of the naysayers out there would say that you've paid a significant amount in interest, maintenance, taxes, and utilities in that time, and that would be correct if this was your primary residence. But what if this was a rental property and your tenants paid enough rent to cover all of those items? Then you wouldn't be out of pocket anything more than your down payment, and then you can very quickly see why real estate investing is so popular among those who wish to grow their net worth and save for retirement. Are all real estate markets going to appreciate like Toronto? No, and do real estate values always go up? No, but that's all the more reason why you need to know how to choose a market, a strategy, and a timeline for how you're going to invest in real estate to see the highest returns while at the same time mitigating risk. So with all of that in mind, let's take a look at my five steps to get you started as a real estate investor. The first step you should take to get started in real estate investing is reading books. Most people know that real estate investing involves purchasing, owning, managing, renting, and selling real estate for profit. But when they sit down and start to do some research on the topic, they become overwhelmed. There is a ton of contradictory information out there on the internet, and it's hard to differentiate between sources that are credible and those that are not. And this is why I recommend starting with reading books on real estate investing. Books often provide more complete and succinct information from credible sources, and you can very easily choose books that are the most popular and highly rated to get started. Here's three books that I recommend. The first is Real Estate Investing in Canada, Creating Wealth with the Acre System by Don Campbell. Although the book is a little outdated, it's still a great book for Canadian real estate investors because it's full of practical Canadian content and it's based on investing with market fundamentals and not getting emotionally involved in your real estate investments, which is so key. It's a very well-organized book that'll teach you how to spot markets that are overpriced and underpriced, how to analyze properties and determine if they will have positive cash flow, tips on how to secure financing that you need to purchase real estate, and a whole bunch more. 
The second book that I would recommend is The Classic Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. This is one of the all-time best-selling personal finance books. It's a very simple read and has long been a staple for those looking to improve their financial literacy and increase their motivation to become a great investor. You'll learn how to seize opportunities, find solutions, take care of your investments, and how to make your money work for you instead of you working for your money. The third book I recommend is the book on investing in real estate with no and low money down by Brandon Turner. Now, full disclaimer, I have not read this book, but I've heard good things about it. Although this book is US oriented, most of the concepts are still applicable to Canadian real estate. It's an excellent book aimed at teaching beginners about all of the financing options available to purchase real estate investments. The book is a collection of numerous strategies to help you handle whatever deal comes your way. The second step you should take is joining a real estate investment Facebook group. The average person spends two and a half hours daily on social media. So I suggest that you use your time to your advantage by joining Facebook groups that are centered on the topic of real estate investing and financial freedom. This will help you become immersed in daily online community discussions on real estate investing, and there are potential networking opportunities within many of these groups as well. You'll learn what's top of mind for fellow investors, and you may be able to get recommendations on various service providers, such as mortgage brokers, realtors, and lawyers that have helped other beginner real estate investors get started. If you're located on the West Coast, I recommend joining the Reinvestors Facebook group. There's a lot of activity happening within this group, helping educate folks on real estate investing, providing market updates and resources for both new and seasoned investors. If you're looking for a national option, you can check out the Level Up Real Estate Investing Facebook group. Now, this is a shameless self plug because this page is run by my business partner, Alona Koziol, and myself. On the first Tuesday of each month, Alona and I run a virtual interactive meetup that features an education component as well as open deal presentation for both passive and active investors. The session closes off with 60 second business updates from members of the community and a Q&A session with the co-founders and any guest speakers. The third step you should take to get started in real estate investing is assembling your power team. I know we're all very capable people, but realistically speaking, there is a limit on what you can accomplish as a single individual. Real estate investing decisions have real financial impact, so you need to have expert advice from people that you trust in areas you aren't familiar with. I have 10 people on my power team, including my mortgage broker, my realtor, my lawyer, my accountant, and if you're not sure where to get started, check out this video right here on how to assemble your power team. The fourth step I recommend is getting formal education on real estate investing. You can do this by joining paid organizations such as the Real Estate Investment Network, also known as RAIN. RAIN aims to provide members with unbiased real estate education and research. The folks at RAIN spend 600 hours per month on research reports to help you stay up to date and knowledgeable on a wide variety of real estate investing topics, such as transportation effects, lending rules and regulations, how to analyze and decipher what the news headlines actually mean, and so on and so forth. They also provide audio and video investing courses designed to help motivate and educate you to take your real estate investing business to the next level. Another helpful resource they provide is a complete library of real estate investing forms and documents needed to run your portfolio efficiently. Their membership costs 250 Canadian dollars a month, and there is an 18 month minimum to join their community. Another organization you could consider joining is Keyspire. They have over 2,000 members across the country and their mandate is to teach you how to create wealth through real estate investing. They hold events, workshops, and advanced training sessions across North America, and a big part of Keyspire's appeal is that they provide you with an instant network of like-minded real estate investors and professionals. Currently, access to a Keyspire three-day workshop is advertised at around $2,000 for two people. At the workshop, you'll be able to sign up for their membership and coaching programs, which start at about $10,000. Now, full disclosure, I've been a part of both of these organizations. I was a RAIN member when I first got started as a real estate investor, and later on, I joined Keyspire's network. Both of these networks are very valuable, but it's really up to you as an individual whether you think it's gonna work for you. Check out both RAIN and Keyspire's websites for their most up-to-date information and their product offerings and rates, because I know that a lot of things have changed since the global pandemic and things moving online. The fifth step you should take to accelerate your real estate investing success is hiring a private coach or joining a group coaching program. Working with a knowledgeable and experienced coach will help you get advice that is completely tailored to your unique situation and goals. For example, your private coach can work closely 
with you to develop your real estate investment plan and strategy. They can also review your existing portfolio and give you their expert opinion on your deals. And even if you already know how to get to that next level, many people fail to become successful real estate investors because over time they lose their motivation. And when they become unmotivated, they stop working diligently on the everyday tasks needed to keep their real estate investing portfolio in good shape and growing. Your private coach will connect with you personally via calls, emails, texts, or video conferencing to help you stay accountable and ensure that you reach your goals faster. Private coaching costs can vary wildly. Some coaches will offer a set number of sessions while others will have a subscription model that you can pay for on a monthly basis. Do me a favor, before signing up for any coaching programs, do some research on that coaching program. Who will be running the sessions and their track record inside of real estate investing? and the success of their past students. Coaching is something that you can do at any point in your journey, but the most successful investors, no matter how experienced they are, are looking for someone who is one step above them to help them guide them to the next level. This can exponentially expedite your journey and save you from making potential costly and catastrophic mistakes. So I believe coaching is one of the most valuable areas we can invest in. So I'm curious, have you already taken any one of the five steps I mentioned in this video? If you have, let me know in the comments section by saying already started, not yet, or I'm getting there. I'll also leave a link for all the products and services I've mentioned in the video as well in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the like button to satisfy the YouTube algorithm and help place this video in front of the right audience. You can also subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or check out my website at darrenboros.com. And with that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success on your real estate investing journey, and I look forward to hearing your success stories very soon.